Okay, so in this video, we're going to look at the power series method. Uh, as you know, we've been reviewing uh, the power series and we've just looked at a video on term wise differentiation. So, in this one, we're actually going to see how we solve a, a, a differential equation using this method. So, let's say we want to solve this differential equation. So, we start by substituting y equals this power series, a general power series, into this differential equation. In order to do that, of course, the first thing we need is its derivative, which we just learned how to do in term-wise differentiation in an earlier video. So let's do that. So we've got the derivative and we've got y. So now we're in a, ready to actually substitute these into the differential equation. So we get basically this, as you can see. So simply substitute that in here and for y dash and twice this one, and of course equate uh, equal to zero. Now the question, the next step is the one that's uh, interesting and quite important and I would like you to pay attention to this. Notice here a couple of things. First of all, uh, look at the counter here and look at the counter here. These counters are not equal. We need to actually combine these two summations. In order to do that, we need to have the same counters. Now as a rule of thumb, we usually bring these counters to zero. So in order to do that, for instance, in this case, if I want to make the counter zero here, okay, so I would have to, uh, you know, basically say, right, uh, so I'm going to do this, I'm going to say n equals, if I say zero to infinity, then obviously uh, this is going to become n plus one, okay, cn plus one to the power xn, okay. Uh, that's important. Now here, how did I do this? It's very simple. If I'm, because I'm usually, we are, it could be n equals two, for instance, second order differential equation and so on. So that, that if I'm going to make this zero, then I'm going to add one to each of the n's that you see in the nth term of the power series. Okay. So uh, if we do that, we get, so actually before we, sub, uh, before we c combine, I just want to show you here, uh, you can see that from n equals one, these are the actual terms that uh, this particular term generates, this particular series. You can see c1, 2, c2, x, to 3, c3, x2. And when this adjusted formula zero to infinity, obviously if you put zero in here, you get c1, then two c2, x, and three c3, so it's the same. Just to show you that actually this adjustment um, is as simple as it looks. So now uh, let's combine uh, the power series because now we can actually take these two and put them under one, under one summation. So we have basically, as you can see here, now the two summations are the same. So we can combine them into one nth term as you can see here. Now by the, so by the identity principle, uh, this, this term, this term, uh, the only way we can solve this problem, uh, this equation's only solution is that if this coefficient of the power series for all n is going to be equal to zero. Now this gives us a very interesting recurrence relation, as you can see here. So now our aim is to actually solve this recurrence relation, and you would have solved these earlier uh, in uh, maybe courses like Calculus 2 or wherever you studied power series. So let's start to look at a few terms so that we can get an idea of uh, what the pattern is. So with n equals zero, c1 is simply going to be negative two c zero over one. Now with n equals one, of course, we'll end up with c2 and that's gonna be equal to minus two, n is one, so c1 over, and one plus one is two. Now look, we already know what c1 is, so we will substitute the value of c1 in here. That will give us uh, plus, because this is already negative here, so minus minus is plus, two squared. Uh, so what we've actually done here, okay, just to show you, is we've taken this uh, c1 and substituted in here. So that's why the minus and the minus gives you plus, okay, and then you get two squared c0 over one times two. My advice to you is do not write this as four or, or this as two. Whatever's being multiplied, whatever product is being taken, you should write it as you see it because it will help you determine the pattern. Because you see this, of course, can be written as two squared c0 over two factorial. So 
with n equals 2 now, c3 should obviously be, look, 2 cubed. So we've got an alternative sign, alternating sign going on here. The first one is negative, positive, negative, powers of 2 with, uh, with regards the index here, and the factorial with regard same as the index here. So therefore, we end up with this nth term, minus 1 to the power n, 2 to the power n, c0 over n factorial for n greater than or equal to 1. So uh, so now substituting this back, this value of cn that we found, we get our the power series, which is the solution to our differential equation, n equals 0 to infinity minus 1 to the n, uh, 2 to the power n, c0 over n factorial xn. Notice something interesting here is that the 2n and uh, minus 1n and the xn all have the same power n. So this means combining them we get minus 2x to the power n and factorial and that happens to be the Maclaurin series of the exponential uh, of 2x or rather negative 2x. Just for your reference there's the Maclaurin series ex xn over 2n factorial so you see now we have minus 2xn so you will notice that here uh, the comparison is of these two so uh, that basically gives us, and the c0 is outside, it's a constant, so we get basically c0 e to the minus 2x. Now, so here I'm back to the series uh, uh, over here as you can see. Now this, uh, if we look at it, so notice here, this is a separable equation, so dy dx equals minus 2y, so we get dy over y equals minus 2 dx, integrate both sides, log y equals minus 2x plus constant c1 or y is equal to ae to the minus 2x. And that, you will notice, is the same solution that we've got here. y is equal to a constant e to the minus 2x. So you can see the series solution, uh, series method, power series method gives us the same solution. So that's a, a quick example of how the power series method works. We'll stop here. Thank you so much.